When we have a domain controller that no longer boots because either it has a software or hardware problem and there's just no way to fix it, then we can delete it. But sometimes when we delete it, it doesn't delete everything out of Active Directory, so we need to manually delete it using some special tools. First, I'm in Active Directory Users and Computers. I want to get rid of DCO1. DCO2 is the server I want to keep. It has all the master roles that I need, so there's no reason that I can't delete DCO1. If it didn't have all the master roles, I'd want to seize those roles first. Now, I want to make sure I go to View and I have Advanced Features checked. Otherwise, it's possible I may not be able to delete it because there may be a protection listed on it under the Object tab. So if you see the box checked where it says Protect Object from Accidental Deletion, you won't be able to delete it. So make sure that you clear that box and then you should be able to delete DCO1. Now, the easiest way to do this is just right click on it and choose Delete and click Yes and check the box that says Delete Domain Controller Anyway, it's permanently offline. Typically, this removes all the important things that will keep it from causing problems in Active Directory. So we're going to go ahead and not delete that because I'm going to pretend as if that didn't work because sometimes it doesn't and you need to delete it a different way. So we need to go into a command prompt and it'll need to be an administrator command prompt. Otherwise, we may not be able to get this to work. And then I'm going to clear the screen and we're going to use a command for a utility called ntdsutil. I'm going to type the question mark just so you can see all the different options here. But what we want to choose is metadata cleanup, and I'm highlighting that here. Now I'm going to type in metadata cleanup into NTDS Util, but you don't have to type every single letter. You can just type the first couple of each word. Now I'm in metadata cleanup, and I need to type connections so I can connect to the server that I'm logged into, which is DCO2. So I'll type in connect to server DCO2. And after that, all I need to do is click the Q, the letter Q, and it'll take me back up one level. I don't want to quit the entire application or utility. I just want to move up a level and Q does that. Now I'm going to type in select operation target so I can select the domain and the server and the site that I need to delete. So I'll type in list domains, and I only have one domain. So I need to type in select domain, and you can see here that I've got my domain selected. Next, I need to type in list site and then select site zero. Now I've got my site and my domain, and the next thing I need to do is select the server that I want to delete. So I can type in list servers in sight. I want to make sure I delete DCO1, not DCO2, because DCO2 is the one that's working fine. So select server. And there we go. So now I've selected DCO1. So now I have the site, the domain, the server. I don't need to worry about the naming context. So I'm going to click the letter Q and go up a level to metadata cleanup and type in remove selected server. And now that server will disappear. Am I sure I want to do this? Yes, of course. And now I'm done. So now I can type in Q a couple of times to go ahead and take me out of the utility. You can see the server that I deleted after I highlighted it. And I'm going to be right out of my command prompt. And now I can go back into Active Directory Users and Computers and refresh the screen. And DCO1 should be deleted. And it's gone. Another thing that we should do is we should go into Active Directory Sites and Services. And that's because sometimes some things get left over there as well. So we'll go into Sites and Services. And we'll open it up, expand our site. And then we're going to see if DCO1 is still in there. So I'll expand Servers and DCO1. Sure enough, it's still in there. However, when I select it, you can see nothing is attached to it. So it's just easy enough to right click and delete it won't cause any problems by doing that. Now, if you don't do it, everything will still work, but you may have an issue because you see that it's still trying to replicate with a server that doesn't exist. So things might run a little slow. So I'm going to right click on that server and choose delete and click yes. Then I'm going to click on NTDS settings 
And I'm going to delete the replication with the server that's now gone and click yes as well. And that is how we delete the metadata of a server, that's a domain controller, that can no longer start up.